So today I want to do a video about bra sizes and specifically to do with augmentations when you're picking your size, things like that. I want to explain how bra sizing works, mostly specifically um, Victoria's Secret bras. So just as a disclaimer, just so you know, I have worked at Victoria's Secret for the last two years. I know that not all Victoria's Secret associates have the best track record with actually being accurate. I've heard a lot of really negative things about um, girls who get sized at VS and not having a good associate that wasn't good at her job things like that So I'm just gonna put it out there like we're not the best and it depends on the associate I have been there for two years and I am pretty good at what I do just having that being said also This is almost it's very opinionated. I guess so I'm sure this video is gonna get a lot of love It's gonna get a lot of hate, but whatever I'm just gonna put this out there for educational reasons and just so you know Victoria's Secret bras are different than other bras, but Victoria's Secret is number one in bras for a reason. So this is just mostly to educate. One last disclaimer, um, this is my last day at VS. I am very sad about it, but I kind of wanted to just do this video as a last hoorah as well. So just in the future, if you're watching this video, I don't currently work there. I might go back. It's just a really stressful with my husband's schedule right now, so that's why I'm leaving. So anyway, okay, so VS bras. People always, when they're picking their implant sizes, they want to be a certain cup size. And um, I just wanted to make sure you guys are aware that, basic, especially in VS bras, this is all coming from VS standards, because it's all I'm educated on. Especially in VS bras, a D isn't a D. And in my opinion, it's actually really smart. You can't say that this one size of breast tissue makes a D cup because it's gonna fit different on a girl who has a wider chest or a bigger band size. Do you get what I'm saying? So Victoria's Secret bras are very, very customized to your body. That's why they're number one in bras. People always say that they run big or there's all these negative things about bras or that it, and it is right, you're not, some women aren't gonna fit in these bras and I'll explain that later. But basically, if a 32D and a 38D are not the same cup size. A 32D is much smaller than a 38D. Does that make sense? The actual cup size is different. It's very customized to the body. We all have different widths. We have different shapes. We have diff different breast tissue. We have different densities. Some sit, some are really like full up top. Some are really full on bottom. Some are really like, you know, some people have sagging, some people don't. It's very like, no one is the same breast tissue and these bras are so customized to your body. That's why they're number one in bras. I'm gonna say that a million times. So that's always what I like to explain to people when they try to, be negative about the bras and saying that like they've run big or they're they can't believe they're that size or they're not that size it's just like yeah but in Victoria's Secret you are that size if you're a really petite girl and you want huge boobs just know you're probably not gonna fit in a Victoria's Secret bra the 32 triple D is the same as a 34 double D 36 D or 38 C so if someone's like a C cup in the 38 band size and you're the triple D in the 32, that's technically the same cup size, if that's making sense. So basically, I, a lot of girls, they're so petite and then they get these like 600 um, implants. You're not going to fit in a 32 band size anymore. You could go up into a 34, but then it might be too loose on you. So basically, if you're in like the 34, 36 band size range, you're going to have a little bit more leeway as far as fitting into bras. The other thing, it only goes up to 38 triple D in stores. Online you can get 40 band size, but yeah, I've heard a lot of really negative talk about body issues and that the, they should make bras for bigger women, da 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 da, but never mind, I'm not even gonna go into that, so. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, so basically like a 38 triple D is gonna be the equivalent to a 36 quadruple D, a 34 five times D, <laughs> and a 32 six times D. Do you get what I'm saying? I don't know like F's, G's, H's, I don't know where it goes from there because Victoria's Secret doesn't have that sizing and I'm not trained in that so I'm not even gonna try to, I'm not even gonna go into that. I'm only trained in VS standards so. Okay, 
So that's kind of how the bras work, why they work that way, things like that. There are full coverage bras. Push-ups are gonna fit differently. You might be like a 32 double D, but in a push-up bra, you need to do a triple D just for more coverage because push-up bras are meant to be more cleavagey, but sometimes you don't wanna be as cleavagey, so you need to adjust. Are you guys following me? Anyway, okay, so when you're picking your um, breast implant size, let me actually pull up an actual link that I can tell you guys about. So I just pulled up this, I googled this information just so you know this is actually like correct information. It says, breast implants are measured in cubic centimeters or cc's. The higher the number, the larger the implant. Every 150 to 200 cc's equates to an increase of approximately one to one and a half cup sizes. So basically 200 cc's is gonna add about a cup. I don't, I don't think that's too accurate. I was told that I got a 300 cc saline. I was told that the 300 cc would increase me about a cup size. That's what I was told by my surgeon. But just so you have that information, just so you know that came from like, well, it's Google. <laughs> anyway, so just keep that in mind. But like I said, if you want to be a certain cup size, you just need to really, really, really educate yourself. Um, basically, if you're a 36 B, if you want to be up into a C cup or whatever, you could do about a 300. Um, but just know that it's not going to put you up into like the D and double D and things like that because also the other thing you need to take into account is the wider your chest is, you have, you have a certain diameter in your chest and you need an implant that fits that diameter. The bigger the implant diameter, it's gonna be held in your chest wall because if you're, especially if you're going under the muscle, you're gonna be held in there so it doesn't settle as much. So you're not gonna have like the projection as much. Does that make sense? Basically, just trust your surgeon. If you have a surgeon that isn't giving you too much information that won't tell you a certain size, I would probably go to a new surgeon because I had a surgeon that did that to save his own butt. He didn't wanna suggest a certain CC size so he just let me pick the 300 and it ended up being way too small for what I wanted and now I'm unhappy and now I have to pay for new implants. So if you're having a surgeon that won't give you like numbers or suggestions or things like that, I would go to a different surgeon. If you really wanna know your accurate size, and you maybe have had problems in the past with not getting accurate size, if you go to Victoria's Secret, just request a more experienced associate. Um, like I said, being measured is just step one. If you don't want to try on a bra and have a professional look at it, you can't blame the professional because you didn't let them in to look at it and let you know where to go from there. Sizing is just step one. Like I said, everyone has different tissues and we can't tell your tissue and where you sit and things like that through a shirt. So you can't necessarily blame the associate if you didn't let them see you in a bra. The other thing, is you need an experienced associate because basically the bigger the bigger band size you have, it's gonna give inaccurate measurements. So the way that we measure, hold on. Basically, when you get measured, we measure up here because, also because a lot of women have different, um, different densities here. They're saggier and it might be more uncomfortable for us to be measuring under here. This is where we're measuring. So basically, you need to pull snug to get an accurate, accurate whatever, but basically like I measure like a 36 here, but I'm actually more of a 34. Do you see that? So you need a professional who knows, who knows what they're doing. And then you come across here, you need to take into account if they're wearing a push up, things like that. Then you measure here. Basically, I was a 36, or I'm measuring at a 41 here because you don't want to pull too snug. So 36, A, B, C, D, double D. That's going to be the size. So anyway, but basically, if we were to do that on like a bigger band size, sometimes I'll measure a girl and she'll be at 38 around. And then when I come across her chest, it says that she's like a triple D or a double D. And then just by looking at her, I can tell that she is not. She's more like a B. And the reason for that, because you're wide here as well, when you're measuring across, it's taking in your like chest size and not just your breast size. Does that make sense? So basically, I'm when I measure you here, it's getting all your chest width and it's not that cup size. So that's another thing. You need to go to someone who's skilled because just through experience, just looking at people, I can basically guess sizes, things like that. Not trying to like talk myself up, but I'm just saying you need to make sure you go to someone experienced. 
anyway, I think that's pretty much all I want to cover with sizing. I mostly just wanted to basically get out there that a D isn't a D in Victoria's Secret. It's very customized to your body. They are number one in bras for a reason. Like I said, we all have different densities, things like that, different bandwidths. Um, it's not I like it, it's not an accurate reading to say like this breast size is a D. Like that, that doesn't that, that doesn't work. So this video is just mostly for education purposes and for my last hoorah, Victoria's Secret, while I still have the knowledge. Things like that. Um, if you guys have any requests for if you want any other specific videos on Victoria's Secret bras, certain styles, things like that, um, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to do it. I hope this video helped in your journey for picking your implant size or understanding Victoria's Secret bras, whichever reason why you clicked on this video. So yeah, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel and I really, really, really love and appreciate your guys' support. All the links to my social media are in the description below. Until next time. Bye, guys.